what is good y'all welcome back to the channel it's your boy phil today we in the big body i actually got something in store for the big body today um i'm actually going up to my boys uh tenting spot because we're gonna get the truck tenant um i want to get this car you know this truck looking somewhat pleasable you know i feel like tents always you know is one of the first things i do to all my dailies and whatnot um, most likely gonna do 5% in the back and then maybe like 35 in the front and then I should be good with that um, I actually did the oil change on the truck like last weekend and it wasn't that bad it was actually a lot easier than I thought so you know YouTube mechanic school coming in handy I haven't really been posting on my channel lately because it's just been like real shitty weather like it's been raining and like nothing's been going on it's like I don't want to just put out anything you know but um I'm planning on leaving for Miami in October and then Mexico right after so I mean next month should be cool I hope I can put out a cool montage for you guys I'm probably gonna put it out on my second channel so if you guys aren't following my second channel please go follow my second channel because I'm most likely gonna start getting a little bit more active on there just because like sometimes the car stuff it gets repetitive and like you know I can't always come up with car content but I could always do lifestyle videos you know so if you guys want to see more lifestyle videos please go to my second channel and go check it out and um yeah let's get that channel to like 500 subscribers I think I'm at like 200 right now so if you guys are a true fan of me or a true supporter of me I don't really like calling you guys fans because I don't feel like that's what it is if you guys are true supporters of me then go to that second channel and go subscribe and leave a comment on the latest video you see all right so um yeah I'll catch you guys when I get to uh, my boy's shop and get this car tinted. I want to get, I do want to do a muffler delete on this. So if you guys know any spots that could do a muffler delete on this car and they're not crazy taxing, um, let me know in the New Jersey area, um, specifically the North Jersey area. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. Um, I'm most likely gonna put coils on this. I kind of, I do want to have like a slam truck, truck at least once in my life. <laughs> Maybe either do coils or springs. You guys let me know. This rain is so black, bro. Ugh. So your boy's working and getting tense. Same time. Thank God for me being able to work from home. I know a lot of you guys probably don't know that I actually have a job. 20% right there. I didn't want to go too crazy because then I'm gonna start getting all those tickets and I don't got time. But we gonna do the back dark, obviously. Damn, the daily's looking crazy. Nicely tinted. Now y'all can't see who's in it. I didn't do the front that dark because in Jersey it's illegal to have a front tint. But I just tinted it enough to where like, you know, I have my little bit of privacy. I ain't wanna go too crazy. I could've did the front windshield too. But I ended up not doing that. I'm telling you, do like a nice little drop on this thing. Maybe an exhaust or like a muffler delete. And I think this car will be like one of the perfect dailies. Maybe get like bigger wheels because I believe these are 18s. Maybe run like 19s or 20s. Know what I'm saying? Put a system in here. Y'all ain't about to say nothing. The only thing about this car that I don't like, which I find very weird to be, is that, I don't know. I don't really like how the front end looks. It looks like a 3 Series, obviously. Um, it looks like a 3 Series in the front and then it just like gradually grows into a truck. <laughs> But other than that, like I love the way the uh, the back of the car looks. I feel like the back of the car kind of has like a dope raw look to it. But the front is always a little iffy on me. But I mean, the daily looks pretty good. I'm just happy I'm tinted now because I hate it. Dry. Remember, I told you that me and Jr. had swap wheels for like a little while, so we ended up swapping tires too. So he had took the RPF ones took my uh, wheels or whatever 
and swap the tires that was on there and put it on his. So these ones are the same spec, Achilles 245-40 tires, but it's just a little bit, it doesn't have such a thicker sidewall as the other one, so it doesn't rub on the S2000. Um, I kind of like the Graham lights. I got used to them, but these probably will most likely be for sale. And then when I'm ready, I'll end up either picking up some, maybe some TEs or something like that to like really, really complete the car and then start working on the front end um, when I'm ready. But we'll see. So if you guys are interested in my RPF ones, let me know. Um, I'm letting them go for 1300 or best offer. The tires are like basically brand new and there's no scuffs or anything like that on them. So let me know. New Jersey, I'm not shipping them. So you already talking about shipping. Don't even think about it. I'm not shipping them. Right now the car is on jack stands because I had took the wheels off. But I'm trying to figure out what this check engine light on my car is about. Well, I already know what it's about. I now have a check engine light for P0411 and I believe it could be like the, uh, the air injection system. Um, when I bought the car, it had that light on and I checked to see if any of the hoses were like ripped or anything like that. So I kind of went ahead and I looked um, looked it up to see if it was like a critical thing and it wasn't so that's why I ended up going with the car but um, I believe maybe the, the air pump on the front that's like by the bumper is maybe no good anymore or maybe one of the hoses or something like that or the vacuum lines could have like a crack in it or you know something like that so today I'm gonna try to figure out if I can figure out if it's the air pump or not or maybe I could just delete it all in all like how I did with my last S2000 Remember, I deleted it when I did the supercharger kit on my last one. So I'm thinking about just maybe deleting this one. But I was talking to JR and he was telling me that there could be a fuse for it where you could just pull it and it might just make that go away. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I wanna get rid of that check engine light today because that check engine light is bothering the shit out of me. Um, so I'm gonna check the air pump in the front to make sure like it's good if there's any cracks or any like breaks or anything in it. JR said he has an extra one. So I'll probably try that one out too. But for right now, we're just gonna check check all the lines, check all the hoses, make sure all the hoses are routed correctly. It seems like they're routed correctly, but also people said that it could be that that has been routed incorrectly. So we're gonna check for that too. And today, Google and YouTube is gonna be our best friend. I'm gonna leave the tires off on this side and we're gonna put the tires on on the other side. Because if you didn't know, the air pump is literally right there. Pulled off the uh, air pump, detached all the stuff just to you know see if anything was good wrong with it i'm actually gonna look at the air pump now but all the wiring in the engine bay definitely seems to be fine um some people say normally it's this piece here that normally has an issue so i just was looking under the engine bay to see if any of the hoses were mismatched or crimpled or cracked or whatever and nothing seems to be cracked or anything um I'm trying to see if there's anything that I'm like missing, but I don't see anything, so I don't understand why this code is there. Um, I'm not sure if I said it to you guys before, but it's P0411. So the only thing that I could relate it to is the injection system. Um, so I'm gonna try to clean out my injection system and see. Like I said, I've been going based off what I see on the internet and like what I see from like other people's S2K's engine bays and all the wiring and all the hoses seem fine. Um, so I'm just gonna keep searching until I find it because it's really really annoying me <laughs> But we're gonna get it. I I'm pretty sure I'll get it if I don't then whatever like I said It doesn't affect the drivability of the car from what I've seen But I do just want to clear that check engine light Don't see it, but there's another line that goes here Right underneath this hose right here that needs to connect to this little sensor here So when I was looking I kept saying to myself. I'm like, okay, everything looks fine except for one thing. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna brighten this up for y'all. Myself, I'm like, well, is there supposed to be another little hose that goes on here? So I'm guessing that's probably what my issue is, is that this didn't have a hose on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to either like Home Depot or one of those little, you know, stores that sells like automotive shit and see if they have a hose that size. And I'll match it up with this one right here actually got lucky and found the hose in the garage from the RSX that's the same size so might be able to clear this check in July right now let's hope let's hope I put the air pump back put the wheels back on too so I'll start it up take it for a little drive and see if the check engine light is gone so I just did the everything let it scan now Oh, 
I bought this from like AutoZone or eBay for like 30 bucks, I think. Matter of fact, actually, I got this from Harper Freight. Takes a little while, but. All right, so let's see, it has one fault code, P0411. All right, so now I'm gonna erase it. All right, erase finished. We're gonna start the car. person here as always I am closer to uh, Paramus than the rest of these guys but today we're supposed to be driving up to uh, Bear Mountain and I also want to let you guys know the check engine light came back on pretty sick about that I thought I found my fix but I guess that's not it so I got to keep like messing with everything maybe um, I'm gonna try using JR's um, um, pump and see if that should work because after that like everything else is starting to get on my nerves like I just want my check engine light to be gone but um Besides that, today we're heading up to uh, Bear Mountain for like a cruise. I don't know if they said it was like a car show or something like that. I don't know. But I'm the first person here. We're supposed to meet up at 6. It's 5.59. Nobody's here. I guess everyone's caught in traffic. So um, I'm just waiting now. Might get some pictures. I'm about to get out the car and see how everything looks. Are we just waiting on one more person? There he go right there. We got my baby. You see him coming in? He got the EG over there. Got some gas. Your boy filled up. See the check engine light. So we about to head out. This shit is sketchy as hell, boy. There's literally no lights. But we are in Bear Mountain right now. There's some supers behind us. We're literally just cruising through the dark, bro. I see hella cars coming back now. Like they shut it down or they closed it off. We got to the, I guess, the meetup section of wherever the meet was our car show was at, and the cops had it blocked off. So I don't know exactly where we're going now. I'm just following behind everyone. Driving through these sketchy ass mountains <laughs> with no lights. It was a nice little drive up here though. It was about uh. I'll say about an hour for me. Probably everyone else like an hour and 30. I'm trying to see what they're, where, where they're going or whatever. Now it looks like everyone's pulled over to the side. So I'm about to pull over. for you guys it's just a lot easier to use while uh, driving and shit I don't know how the quality or the video quality is gonna be for you guys but right now we're just ripping through the uh, through the mountains right now it's kind of hard to see because like I said there's no like lights in these roads are like really fucked bro It's like this little roundabout right here. I 
think this is where I came when I had my prom. And we all parked up over here. 